Hello again everyone, this is Jason Carr, the developer of LaunchBox, and today we're going to go through the new ROM import process that is new for version 4.5 of LaunchBox, which came out yesterday. So we worked hard to make this process as quick and painless, easy, but also flexible as possible. Um, so and I, th I think you'll see that as we walk through this here real quick. Uh, won't take us long. But I've downloaded in my documents folder here, I have an N64 folder that I've downloaded a good 15 ROM files here that we're going to go ahead and import into LaunchBox. And with version 4.5, you can now drag and drop ROM files into LaunchBox. So we'll just grab this N64 folder, which contains all of our ROMs, drag it into LaunchBox, and it'll come up with this import games from files wizard. And it asks us what type of games we're importing, whether it's MS-DOS games or ROM files. And of course, we're importing ROM files. And then for the platform, um, we're importing Nintendo 64 ROMs. And then we'll go ahead and hit Next. And then it asks us for the emulator to use. And obviously, out of the box, uh, it does, uh, LaunchBox does not com configured with any emulators. So we'll just go ahead and click Add. And it tells us that because it's Nintendo 64, LaunchBox knows that Project 64 is probably the most popular emulator to use. I know uh, RetroArch is, is very po popular as well for Nintendo 64, but we'll go ahead and do Project 64 for this uh, demonstration. Um, and all you have to do is go ahead and click the link that it provides uh, so you can download Project 64. So we'll go ahead and get Project 64 and then download version 2.1 here. And we'll go ahead and hit Run. Give that a second to download. And when that's finished, it'll pop up with the setup process. <clears throat> and there it goes. Come on now, come on. Running the security scan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so here is the setup for Project 64. And we'll go ahead and just click Next and install to the default location. And no, we really don't want any of this adware crapware. Skip, skip. And I'm, I don't want to launch Project 64 right away here. We'll go ahead, and go ahead and hit finish. So now we have Project 64 installed. And all we have to do, everything else should be already, already configured here. All we have to do is just hit browse. And we'll go to C colon backslash program files x86, which I believe is where it installed. And under Project 64 2.1 and Project 64. And now we'll hit OK and we have our emulator here for Project 64. And we'll hit next. Now this is an interesting option. So in our documents folder, we have that N64 folder which contains all our ROMs, we have the option to use the files in their current location, which means don't move or copy the files, or copy the files or move the files into the LaunchBox games folder. Um, now this is convenient because you can just basically have LaunchBox automatically organize your collection of ROMs by either moving them or copying them into the LaunchBox folder. So that's recommended. I'd, re I'd recommend that everybody do that, is that way if you, um, copy your entire LaunchBox collection onto another machine, then all your ROMs and everything else will come with it. Um, and LaunchBox is also able to detect when it moves to a different folder. Um, so you won't have any broken games or anything like that. Everything should just work uh, in that environment if you sync your folder with Dropbox um, or if you copy everything to another computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, copy the files into my LaunchBox games folder for right now. Then it asks you if you'd like to download metadata for your games. Um, so yes, we're gonna say we wanna search the local metadata database and search the gamesdb.net. You can also check Wikipedia, although the Wikipedia download is unfortunately a little bit more difficult uh, to get good data from, so that's not checked by default. But we'll go ahead and click Next. And yes, we wanna download all the images for our games and click Next. Now we have some custom options. Now this, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. You can force uh, import duplicate games, which means that if it finds a game with the same title already in your LaunchBox installation, 
um, it will import it anyways. By default, it does not import duplicates. So that's convenient if you uh, have some games, you don't know what games you've added, you can just import them all and it'll skip over the duplicates. Um, you can, if, you're, if you dragged a, a folder over that has a bunch of subfolders and such, um, you can only import files from the parent folders. Um, and if you don't know what that means, just ignore it, it doesn't matter. Use folder names instead of ROM file names for game titles. So some people organize their ROMs where every game is in a, is in a folder. And if you want to use the folder name instead of the, the ROM file name to detect what game it is, you would check that box. And then we can look for PDF files for use as the game manuals. Obviously, I don't have any of my ROMs folder, but if you did, um, it would find them and, and hook them up into the manual field. And then um, the option to copy move all files with the same name but different file extensions. Oftentimes, uh, emulators will save uh, saved game information into the same folder as the ROM files. Uh, and if you check this box, it'll copy that stuff over as well. And copy move files into subfolders named with the game's title and year. That's kind of nice because it will copy every single ROM into its own separate folder when you copy and, and move your files into LaunchBox. So that's just a matter of preference, whether you want your ROMs in individual folders or if you want your ROMs in just one platform folder. So we'll go ahead and leave that unchecked for now and go ahead and hit next. And now it gives you a list of all the games it's going to import, as well as what it guesses their title is from the file name. So these look like they're all correct, um, but you can go ahead and edit these if you need to. Uh, you can change them to be whatever you want to be, want them to be, and it shows you what the file is that it found that's going to go ahead and import. So at this point, we're ready to go, and we can go ahead and hit finish, and it will go through and import these 15 games um, and with this new version of LaunchBox with, with 4.5, you can keep using LaunchBox while the import processes are running down here, which is really convenient. Um, you can even, you can launch games, you can edit games, you can do whatever you want, uh, while the import process is running. Uh, so that was a, uh, main focus with the improvements, uh, with the import process, but I'm going to, uh, we'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit here and I'll be back in a second. All right, it looks like we're just about done here. There was the last game, 15 games were imported successfully. And we'll hit okay. And there our games show up. And it looks like we have, everything was recognized and downloaded images for uh, from the, the games DB except for 1080 snowboarding. Um, so we'll go ahead and check, it out, check that out and figure out why that would be. Click edit on that. And it looks like, my guess is it's the little degree sign that would cause the problem. So we'll go ahead and search for metadata on that. And yeah, it does find it this way, but it couldn't identify it perfectly, so it didn't uh, automatically assign it. We'll go ahead and download the images for that quickly. And uh, wow, we got 13 of them. Okay, there we are, and we'll hit OK. And then we have everything perfectly matched from all our 15 games. And we should be able to just double click on these and okay. automatically launch the game. There we are. All right, so let's pause the system here for a second. The other thing you probably want to do is go into full screen mode upon startup. And I believe in Project 64, you do that under settings, um, on loading a ROM, go to full screen, okay. So now all we have to do is double click and we should get a full screen. Okay. Well, it would work if I wasn't recording, I would expect. I also have a dual monitor system going on, so I was probably confused. But that usually does work um, if you go into full screen mode with Project 64. Apparently Project 64 sometimes has issues with that. But that is the basic ROM import process that's uh, new for LaunchBox 4.5, straightforward and easy. There is one more thing I want to mention, and that is that you don't have to drag and drop. You can go to Tools, Import Games from Files instead if you ch if you so choose. And then you can hit Next and ROM Files, and it will ask you all of the uh, uh, to, to add all the files that you want to import. So instead, we can go Add Folder, 
or well, let's go add files. Um, and we can go into documents N64. Um, and then we can select all the games and open that way. And that way it, you can tell it specifically what files you want to add. Um, instead of dragging and dropping, you can, you can add to this list instead and go through the process the same way. I think that's about it. That is the new LaunchBox 4.5 ROM import process. Uh, the MS-DOS import process, uh, new for version 4.5, is very similar, but I'll go through that in another video. Thank you very much. If you um, want to see more content related to LaunchBox, uh, please subscribe. Bye-bye.